everyone, it's Lauren Day Makeup and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the My Little Pony Colourpop Cosmetics Lip Glosses. These are called the Ultra Glossy Lip and these are three shades from the My Little Pony Colourpop Cosmetics collaboration. These are from the My Little Pony Makeup Collection and these are so gorgeous. I have three shades. I have Dream Castle. I have Flutter Valley and I have Ponyland and I'll be showing you in this video the colour swatches and also the shades on my lip so you can see. But I just want to let you know that these colours are so shimmery, they are so metallic, they are so pigmented, they are so glossy, they are so long wearing on the lips, they are so well priced, they are beautiful packaging, they're gorgeous shades, they're gorgeous colours, they're absolutely amazing, they're my favourite lip glosses of 2017 and I'm going to show you the shades in this lipstick um, lip gloss review. I find with these shades, the, the lip glosses are so lovely and so pigmented and so um, metallic that you don't really need to wear a lipstick underneath. So I'm just going to be showing you the shades today. So I'm going to start with Ponyland which is the um, lavender purple shade then I'm going to show you the fuchsia shade which is called dream castle and the final one is a gold shimmery shade and that is called flutter valley so if you'd like to see what these shades look like on my lips then keep on watching the first shade that I'm going to be showing you is called pony land now this is a really nice medium purple I would say that it's more of a lilac purple than a deep purple and it's really really pretty it has a lot of gold flex to it and gold shimmer to it and as you can see it's very very metallic these shades are so glossy and so shimmery basically I'm just wearing this shade by itself the lip liner that I have used is the dream lip liner by Napoleon it's the only lip liner that I found that it's a really nice lilac purple shade and I have uh, lined my lips with that first and then I've applied the ultra glossy lip over the top of that probably just one or two layers and it's really really pretty as you can see so here is Ponyland swatched on the back of my hand for you. As you can see, it's really, really shimmery, it's really glossy, it's very metallic and it, it's definitely a traditional lilac lavender shade. And this is quite a subtle shade as well compared to the other shades but it is really, really pretty and looks good on fair skin, medium and dark. This lip gloss goes really, really well with the purple eyeshadow from the My Little Pony Colourpop eyeshadow palette. So if you have that palette as well, definitely pair it with this lip gloss like I have today. I've got that shade on my eyelid area and it's really, really, really pretty. And so it works really, really well with this um, shade. I find if you have medium to dark skin tone, this will look probably better on you than it does if you have pale skin tone. I have quite a pale skin tone but I do like to fake tan so I have more of a bronzed look at the moment so I can kind of pull off this colour. So this is the first colour that I'll show you so stay tuned for the next shade. For the next shade I'm going to be wearing this shade here and it's called Dream Castle and this is definitely my favourite colour. So because this is quite a rich pigmented fuchsia I don't like to use a lip liner with this because I find that after this lip gloss wears off you'll be left with a like hot pink line around your mouth which is not ideal. So what I like to use is a lip stain. I do normally stain my lips by using the Lime Crime Centrifuge lipstick but because that's no longer available I have picked up the Savvy lip stain. So I'll just go ahead and use that. So basically filling in my whole lip. So just wait a few seconds for that to dry. Now that that's dry, I'm just going to apply a layer of the Ultra Glossy Lip in Dream Castle. So 
So this is the swatch of Dream Castle. As you can see, it is such a brilliant fuchsia colour. It is so beautiful on the lips and I find wearing this colour with this eyeshadow look is really, really pretty as well. I found over time working as a makeup artist for over 12 years and trying so many shades of lip stick and lip gloss that fuchsia pink is definitely my ideal shade for my lips. I always look best wearing a fuchsia or a dark pink lipstick or even a cherry red. So this, as you can see, is my favourite shade in the My Little Pony Colourpop um, Colour Cosmetics Ultra Glossy Lips. Ah, oh, I'm just so in love with these lip glosses. They're so amazing. So let me swatch this colour on the back of my hand for you next to Ponyland. There is the colour there next to Ponyland and you can see it is much more vibrant. It's much more of a hot pink colour. It does show up a little bit more purple pink here on camera but it is really vibrant, deep fuchsia pink. So if you are a Lime Crime fan like I am and you do have Centra Fuchsia lipstick from Lime Crime, their unicorn lipsticks, this would be so perfect over the top of this. I feel like this is Centra Fuchsia in a lip gloss. It is so so cool. So um spend my life with my hair in my face. This shade is so so nice and um, really beautiful on the lips. My tip is to wear it without a lip liner that way when it fades during the day or when it wears off you're not left with that really um, hideous hot pink lip liner look. This is a really really beautiful shade it's called Dream Castle. I highly recommend it. It's definitely my favorite from the collection. So as you can see the shade in Dream Castle is definitely the most flattering for my skin tone so if you have a pink based fair skin tone and you like to tan you will love really really love this shade especially if you have blonde hair I think it looks gorgeous on anyone you can even wear really plain brown minimal eyeshadow with this and wear some beautiful blush some beautiful highlighter flawless foundation and this shade is so perfect and so wearable so 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 gorgeous so I'll show you guys the next shade now. I'm going to start by lining my lips. This lip liner is by Essence. It's the soft contouring lip liner and it's in the shade 7 Lost in Love. So I've just lined my lips with that and then I'm going to apply a nude lipstick. The colour I'm using is 45 and it's from the Rimmel Lasting Finish Lipstick by Kate Moss. So now I'm going to show you the final shade and the final shade is Flutter Valley and this is a really nice gold, very shimmery. I find all of these shades, they don't have a specific type of glitter or shimmer inside. It's like a rainbow. Uh, this one is just gold flex and it's just so gorgeous. The birds at my house are so loud. I find this shade, I want it a couple of different ways. I've worn it over the top of a red lipstick, like a really rich red, and I've worn it alone, and I've worn it over the top of a peach lipstick, but I find for my colouring, fair skin, red undertones, usually I tan. I find this shade works best when I wear it with a nude lipstick. This shade over the top of a nude lipstick, it is really, really beautiful. I will swatch it on the back of my hand for you. So this is the final shade here. It is really, really pretty. It's more of a sheer shade, as you can see with the other shades. Um, the the um, fuchsia colour Dream Castle is definitely the most pigmented colour. I would say that Flutter Valley is the most sheer colour out of the three. And it's the colour that is probably the most versatile because, as I said, you could wear it over the top of nude, over the top of peach, over the top of red, anything with a red or yellow um, base to it. Any like really nice bronze lipstick would look really, really gorgeous or you could just wear it 
by itself if you have really um, nice pigmented lips or if you have deep dark bronze skin or even if you're quite tanned this color would look really really nice on you so this is the shade flutter valley and it's probably my least favorite out of the three but it is probably the most versatile One thing I did want to mention is that ColourPop Cosmetics are cruelty free brand. They're made in LA, so they're not made in China. Yay! And um, they're a really amazing company um, that are doing great things in the makeup industry. So I love supporting cruelty free brands, and this one is definitely one of them. That is my review and quick demonstration of the ultra glossy lips from the ColourPop My Little Pony collection. I hope you enjoyed my review and my swatches of the three shades from the My Little Pony ColourPop um, collaboration. And uh, these shades are so, so gorgeous. They're available at the ColourPop website. Hopefully they're still available and you can still pick them up. They do ship internationally. I found the best way to get um, international shipping was to order $50 or more and then it's free. Otherwise, you can sign up to their newsletter and you get a $5 off coupon, which makes a huge difference, especially if you live overseas. Um, I live in Australia and once you convert the price even though the prices are like four five six dollars that's in US dollars so you convert them to Australian then you add the postage it can be a little bit pricey but overall as a cosmetic brand Colourpop Cosmetics are so affordable they are so high quality retro they just do so many collaborations they are just so on point their uh, marketing is amazing their social media is amazing their website is so easy, their checkout is amazing. I can't say anything more positive about this brand. It's really, really an amazing brand. This is just my first order of ColourPop My Little Pony um, eyeshadow palette. So I picked up this. Um, I also picked up the highlighter as well, which is um, okay. The pressed powder highlighter, which is um, from the My Little Pony collection. My Little Pony ColourPop ultra matte lip and the shade that I picked up was lemon drop I'm really disappointed with this I don't know why I added this to my cart because I hate matte lipsticks and I kind of thought this was just a regular liquid lipstick but it is so matte it is so drying it is so dark and really really deep purple which doesn't really suit my skin tone but I'm sure this would look great on somebody else but I did want to mention it at the end of this video so I hope you guys enjoyed my video and my My Little Pony lip gloss uh, review. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a like. That always helps out my channel. Don't forget to comment below what's your my favourite My Little Pony. I want to know. Mine is obviously uh, Rainbow Dash. You can check out my Rainbow Dash makeup tutorial from like a million gazillion years ago. And um, let me know out of the three shades, which shade was your favourite and which shade do you think looks best on me? and maybe what shade you want to buy um, and I'll see you guys in my next video.